Hi, it's Trisha here from Equine Energetics with a quick little tour of my horse oracle cards to show you the different ways that you can use them. So they come in this lovely drawstring bag and inside is your box and the box is a little different from any others I've seen um, in that rather than the top just lifting off it actually hinges which I think is just kind of cool. Nice glossy quality box. There's your little booklet with full instructions and here are our cards. And the cards have unique pictures taken by me on the back and your messages on the front. 36 cards. So there's a variety of ways you can use these. You don't need any um, prior skill or experience, knowledge of oracle cards. They're really simple to use and they're a really cool way to develop your intuition. The simplest way to use them is literally just shuffle the deck and pick a card. It might be that one jumps out at you like that. It might be that you just think, okay, I'm going to pick the card that lands on the top. Either is fine. Listen to your gut. Pick the card your gut is telling you to pick. Even if you don't like the message, be patient. <laughs> There's a reason this card has come up for you. So, um, you know, don't just go, oh, I don't like that one. I'm going to pick another one. I don't like that one. I'm going to pick another one. Take a deep breath. Pick the card that is being um, given to you. And just take some time to think about why that message might be being presented to you. Other ways you can use them. Um, you could be doing this at home. You could be doing it in the field or stable or paddock with your horse. You can think about your horse while you're picking your card. So for instance, I might be thinking, okay, um, uh, show me what Rusty wants me to know right now. Okay, it's that one. Or if you've got a specific issue with your horse right now, something that's puzzling you, frustrating you, worrying you, you might think about that particular issue while you're shuffling and you'd be thinking, you know, uh, help me decide what to do about this or give me some insight to this issue and pick the card that is presented to you. Other ways, and you know, you can try any or all of these, um, whatever feels good to you, basically. There are 36 cards, so you might just think, okay, 36 cards, the number 18 is really jumping out to me today, so I'm going to pick card number 18. You can find the card, look at the message, look at what's on the back, and then look up card 18 in the booklet, see what the um, fuller message is and how that resonates with you. And the other way you can use them, which was uh, suggested to me by the Horse Collective when I created these, is, um, and this is possibly something you would do when you first get your deck, but you could do it at any time, is to literally just work through the cards from 1 to 36. So start at card number 1, look at the message, have a read of the booklet, think, sit with it for a while, see how it feels to you and um, is there something, some message, something you could do to help things with your horse. And when you feel ready, move on to card number two. That might be one card every day, once a week, whatever feels good to you. You might, um, you know, card number five or whatever, you might read it and go, hmm, that really doesn't apply to me right now. So I'll go on to card number six. But again, listen to your intuition. This is all about developing that intuition and not just being in your head. 
when it comes to the interpretation, again, go with what you feel. You might just read the message and take it at face value and that's fine. You might um, you might look at the picture on the back and, and get some deeper kind of feeling about the, the message. You might want to read what's in the booklet and go a bit deeper. And some of the cards do have extra exercises and little mantras and things in the booklet that you can do if you want to. So you can go as deep as you want to. I hope that helps you to understand them a little bit and to um, have a bit of an idea how to use them. Um, you can use them every time you just, you know, you just want to feel closer to your horse or you want to get some sort of message or if you're trying to um, develop your relationship. Basically anything goes. So I hope you enjoy them and find them useful and I'd love to hear how you get on with them. Keep connecting with your horses.